My name is Abhi Joshi and welcome to Bali Piano. This is the tutorial of Lagjagale. This is just the first part of the tutorial. If you are interested to see other parts, you can visit balipiano.com. You can find the link in the description below. Also, you can find other important links like the sheet music as well in the description. Okay, so first let me play and demonstrate what we are going to learn in the first part and then we will talk about what's going on in the song. All right. So it goes like this. So this is the main chorus and then we have other section as well the bridge section uh, and there is there are different verses as well which we will discuss in other parts and of course if you are interested to see those sections you can go to the second and third part so right now let's talk about this song so first of all a uh, beautiful song it's um, very simply arranged by me uh, i have tried to keep it very simple because it somehow fits um is somehow it, it it just sounds good if you are playing it quite simple if you try to exaggerate and if you try to keep a lot of notes it's some it somewhat disturbs the beauty of the song so anyway first of all let's talk about this song so this is in the a flat major key which goes like this and the chords that you can expect first of all the tonic triad the most important one the a flat major chord you can also see b flat minor c minor d flat major e flat major f minor so these are the usual triads that you can expect in the song and it's uh, st it starts basically on the a flat major chord the tonic triad and that's usually the case in 99% of the songs they start and end on the tonic triad tonic triad is the very first chord the first triad the a flat a flat is the tonic triad in a flat major key all right so first i will demonstrate the right hand and then i will also show you the left hand So first um we are going to play the chorus but in a very simple way and we want to have these arpeggios and play it very slowly just get into the mood of the song and then you will play it slightly faster and in uh, with better motion on the left and right hand So anyway um let me actually demonstrate the very first intro section with both hands it's it, it's much simpler to understand that way So it goes like this So the right hand and we have the A flat major arpeggio on the left hand so we are going to play A flat E flat again A flat but of the higher octave and C now keep in mind when you are playing a triad chord you have 1 3 5 
and you can mess around with the sequence of these nodes. So here, if when you want to play an RPG, you want to spread out the nodes. So there is one, which is your E flat, five, that's the E flat, the eighth, or basically the one of next octave, again the A flat, and the third, C. So this is the pattern we want to follow. And then you will just extend this arpeggio. Sorry. So you see I just spread it out the A flat major chord. And then. So the same thing with the F minor chord this time. the same fashion the same style of arpeggio I'm not changing the style it's exactly the same but now with different chords that we discussed in the in the beginning so this is the fifth chord the E flat major chord but uh, in uh, in a lot of songs you will have the E flat seventh chord so basically E flat seventh is so that the, this D flat is basically the seventh note in the scale. So this was the scale. And if you count from E flat, just counting the notes that are a part of scale, the D flat is the seventh one. So E flat major chord with a seventh, which makes a dominant seventh chord or just the seventh chord. And it sounds really beautiful and it, it has that bittersweet vibe. And you can guess the next chord that's coming up. You can pause the video and think about what will be the next chord. Now you don't need to know the song, but this is a very this is a very generalized theory that when you have a dominant seventh chord, you want to go back to the tonic triad. So tonic triad in this case is the A flat, right? And we will leave it hanging on the E flat seventh, and then we will start with the with the original pace of the song. So anyway. This is how we will finish and go to the next section. And you can release the pedal to give that pause and then start with the chorus once again. Anyway, first let's have a look at the right hand. same thing once again repeated but this time so uh, this this song is sung by Lataji and uh, I have seen her performances and she likes to improvise while singing so sometimes it's something like or sometimes it's then thought time maybe it could be something else and this this is quite common in uh, the in old songs old Bollywood songs so you can try this thing on piano as well you can try different combinations and just see which fits the best so the, you can alter between these two combinations and the left hand so we are going to play the same style of RPG but this time we will go back as well This is the A flat, then you go to F minor, back to A flat, and then the E flat. So here you will have the E flat 7th chord. I will again play it slowly so that you can catch on how it's the E flat, the e flat 7th. And 
then you will resolve back to the A flat. Right, and so it's it's repeated once again, but with, with slight changes. Okay, so let me play it one more time, the main chorus, both the combinations, just to give you a feel of how it, it should sound. conclude right so here in between you saw the part where I did so this is again a part of improvisation which you can do while playing because it's also done in singing so anyway this was the first part now if you are interested to see other parts you can go to part 2 and part 3 which is on bollypiano.com Thank you for joining and see you in the next part.